Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of division here. If I do equals total spent and divide it by doing a forward slash by capacity and press enter, that is now showing me that the tickets to this festival are currently 67p per person. Now we know that you need a lot more equipment for a festival than this, all right? So that will go up. For example, if I decide that I'm going to need two different drum kits, you can see that the price is now going up. It may be that your capacity for your venue is only to have 1,000 people, in which case your ticket value minimum is going to be £8.27. So we need to work this out. Now, our allocated budget is £10,000, okay? Now, what we can say is we can do an if formula here. Now, if formulas are great for checking things out. Now, if I go equals if, right, and you open up your brackets, and notice it helps you with the formula here. If this, you've got your test first, value if true, value if false, right? If this value is greater, right, then greater than or equal to this value, all right? In fact, we're just going to say greater than this value. You can put a comma, and then with speech marks, you can say over budget. Now, if it's not over this value, you can then say within budget and close your brackets. Now, watch what happens now. So I'm currently within budget. I've been given 10,000 to start off my event. But imagine I went for, for drum kits. Can you see that it's now gone over budget? This is good because what it means I can do on this is I can do conditional formatting. I can go on here and say if it is equal to over budget, it's going to say red. All right. I can also do another one that says if it is equal to within budget, that it's green and click on OK. So I'm going to now go back to one drum kit. And can you see how that's worked now? So that shows you how to do a simple if formula to show if it's over budget and within budget, all right? So you've got your logical test, the value you want if that test has happened, if that's met, and the value if it's not being met. And that is with conditional formatting, a little bit of maths. We'll now go on to doing some sorting and how to do some graphs.